All right, this uh, video is for Stefan, and uh, I was successful getting uh, this cell to work with um, manganese dioxide. And it's the uh, two charcoal electrodes. There's no metal in this. It's just charcoal, basically carbon or graphite, and then wrapped up in a chamois material. But there's no lead, no lead oxide, no nothing in there. It's manganese dioxide, and uh, it's running this motor. And I had to form the cell up, Stefan, using a 6-volt battery and charge and discharge and charge and discharge to get this to take, to get the uh, ions and the electrons uh, set up to flow. But uh, you can see that this is running this motor quite nicely. I don't know about the charge density, uh, how much uh, density of the uh, cell is. I just made it uh, maybe 30 minutes ago, so we'll have to wait and see. But I'm pleased with the results. And I got the manganese dioxide just out of a regular D cell. And uh, there's some good tutorials online on how to take that apart without hurting yourself or hurting anything else. And you get some nice parts out of it. There's the zinc can, there's the carbon electrode, which you can make this cell out of uh, quite nicely if you want to do that. And then all you would need would be the alum. And you can find that in the supermarket or shop around. Some of the places worldwide it's hard to find. But uh, that's what we're using. It's uh, ammonium aluminum sulfate is the, the name of it. And uh, when you get the uh, manganese dioxide uh, out of this, it's a mess. And you have to wash it to get the chemicals out of it. So I use a filter and a cup with this distilled water. And you rinse it and rinse it and rinse it and dry it off and rinse it and rinse it and rinse it. And you end up with a, a goo that's very, very black. And you mix it up with a little bit of uh, alum, and, or quite a bit of alum and distilled water. It's a high concentration to make the paste that you put on the electrode. And then you wrap it up in a uh, material. This is the chamois material, but other materials that work, probably even a paper towel would work. You must, you must wear gloves for this project absolutely imperative and I would make sure you put something down to not get this black stuff on anything it stains it it's a black soot kind of looking stuff and like I could say don't, don't have good clothes on wear gloves if you're gonna do it in the kitchen make sure you don't get this on your wife's countertop or your mom's countertop and uh, be really careful this uh, particular battery here came from a, uh, a uh, dollar store and uh, there were two for a dollar and it was very very cheap. The, there's was just a plastic covering and then it came apart fairly easy with some uh, wire cutters and some pliers and stuff. Just be careful you don't cut yourself on this sharp can um, and like I say you could make the entire cell here out of one dollars worth of parts and then some uh, alum if you can find it and uh, then form it up with a 6 volt battery and you have to charge and discharge and charge and discharge that to get the uh, the cell to form up and I believe it's the sulfate the um, sulfate is what's forming up on either side now this is manganese dioxide and then the ammonium aluminum sulfate there and of course distilled water now the carbon is doing nothing. The graphite carbon rods, they're benign. They're, there is no chemical reaction going on there, I don't think at all. And there's no potential. Like here there's a potential between the zinc and the carbon. This is carbon on carbon. There's nothing going on there. And it is the chemical reaction going on with the manganese dioxide, the ammonium aluminum sulfate, and that water solution. And that's causing a uh, ion transfer and a buildup of electrons on the two different electrodes, depending on how you charge it. Either one of these could be positive. I just picked one. But you can see it it's running. I mean, this puts out about, it's anywhere from half a volt to a volt, I've decided. It's not a lot, but uh, it, does, uh, it does function. It runs a, a jewel thief type circuit quite well, and it does run this motor. So anyway, that's, uh, that's my little project I wanted to show today. Just if you do this, uh, especially in your kitchen, be careful with it and use some common sense and caution. 
when you take one of those D-cell batteries apart. And there are some very good tutorials online on how to do that. And then make sure you watch wash the magnesium dioxide to clear out the other chemicals that are in that compound before you mix it up with the alum and water. Thanks for watching.